In today's lab, we'll be about configuring VoIP. A VoIP phone or IP phone uses voice over IP technologies for placing and transmitting telephone calls over an IP network, such as the internet, instead of the traditional public switch telephone network, PSTN. IP telephony, internet protocol telephony, is a general term for the technologies that use the internet protocols back to switch connections to exchange voice, fax, and other forms of information that have traditionally been carried over the dedicated circuit switch connections of the public switch uh, telephone. Now, what is VoIP and how does it work? VoIP is the technology that converts your voice into a digital signal, allowing you to make a call direct directly from a computer, a VoIP phone, or other data-driven devices. You may also hear it referred to as IP telephony, internet telephony, broadband, and telephony, and broadband phone service. Now, as you can see in our topology here, we have router one connected to switch one, which is connected to the three PCs with the three IP phones. And this represents our private network. And we have on the other side of the topology, uh, which represents the internet, and we have uh, the server, the web server. Now, I will start configuring the interfaces as you can see on the interface of f00 we have the sub interfaces for vlan 10 20 and 99 first i will start with the interface facing the web server on fast ethernet 01 so on the router enable configure terminal host name router 1 now on the interface of f01 this is with the ip address of 8.8.8.1 slash 24 subnet mask. I will enable this port or activate it with a no shut command. Now on the interface, sub interface of F0010 uh, for VLAN 10 and encapsulation dot one q this is for VLAN 10 and this is with the IP address of 172.16.10.1 slash 24 subnet mask. And on the sub interface of F00.20 for VLAN 20, encapsulation dot one q for VLAN 20. And this is with the IP address of 172.16.20.1 slash 24 subnet mask. And on the VLAN 99, which is uh, VLAN 99, is our native VLAN interface of F00.99 for VLAN 99, encapsulation dot one q for VLAN 99, and this is our native VLAN. Now, on the physical interface of F00, 00, I will activate this port with a no shut command. Now, I will set up the DSCP pool for VLAN 10 for data VLAN and 20 for uh, the IP phone or the voice VLAN. Now, I will name the pool for VLAN 10 as data, and the command goes like this IP from uh, the global configuration mode IP DSCP pool and I'll call this VLAN uh, pool data. Now this is for the network of 172.16.10.0 slash 24 and the default router of 172.16.10.1. I'll exit from here and now I will choose 10 IP addresses or from uh, IP address uh, from 1 to 10 to exclude these IP addresses on this uh, VLAN. The command goes like this IP DHCP excluded addresses from 172.16.10.1 to 172.16.10.10. 10 IP address. Next, I will work on VLAN 20 for the voice VLAN or the IP phones. First, I will create the pool for the IP phones as voice. The command goes like this, IP DH, DHCP pool, I'll call it voice, and this is in the network of 172.16.20.0 slash 24. And the default router of 172.16.20.1. Next, I will give the voice VLAN the option. Now, we have option 150 is a DHCP option used to define the IP address of the TFTP server from which 
IP phones, then download the configuration file. What is option 150 and option 66 in the SCP? In our example here, we will use option 150, but I'll give you an idea what does this mean. Now, when a Cisco IP phone starts, if it does not have both the IP address and the FTP server IP address pre-configured, it sends a request with option 150 to the DSCP server to obtain this information. Like option 150, option 66 is used to specify the name of the TFTP server. Option 66 is an open standard, Juniper supports it. Now the command goes like this, option 150, and this is for the IP address of 172.16.20.1, and then hit enter. I'll exit from here, and then configure the excluded addresses for the voice VLAN, and the command goes like this, IP DHCP excluded addresses. I'll exclude 10 IP addresses from 172.16.20.1 to 172.16.20.10. So let me see what we did so far with the command, with the show command show run. As you can see here, we have excluded addresses for both VLANs, and it is showing us here the option for the voice VLAN and the default router for both the VLAN 10 and for VLAN 20. Next, I will configure the telephony service. What are telephony services? Telephony is the field of technology involving the development, application, and deployment of telecommunication services for the purpose of electronic transmission of voice, fax, or data between distant parties. Now, on router 1 from the global configuration with a command configured terminal simply type telephony service and then hit enter now i'll be setting up the maximum directory number to three as you can see in the topology here we have three ip phones so this is what i'm gonna be working so the command for the maximum dash directory number of three and maximum dash uh, e phones of three now in our example here I'll choose port 2000 because here the IP, the source or the addresses we are getting at them from 172.16.20.1 on the port 2000. I will use a question mark here to show you the range is from 2000 to 9999. But I will specify in our example port number 2000 and then hit enter. I'll exit from here. Now, an, an e-phone directory number can be described in its simplest form as a directory number which can be assigned to one or more buttons on one or more Cisco IP phones. Single line e-phone directory number. Only one call can occur from this type of e-phone directory number. It's able to make or receive only one call at a time. So from the global configuration mode, the commands goes like this. E phone dash directory number one. And here we want number 1001 for this e phone, for this IP phone. I'll exit from here for the second one. E phone directory number two. This is with number 1002. I'll exit from here for our e phone directory number 3. And we want this with the number of 1003 in this example. I'll exit from here. Now it's time to configure e phones. The difference between e phones and e phone directory numbers. An e phone directory number can be described. In its simplest form as a directory number which can be assigned to one or more buttons on one or more Cisco IP phones. We can configure each phone directory numbers either as a single or dual mode e-phone directory number. So from the uh, global configuration mode for e-phone which is we start working on number one and the type of this of 7960 before this, I will just hit uh, a question mark. As you can see here, for 7960 uh, Cisco IP phone, and this is the type CIPC, 
Cisco IP phones, IPC, and ATA. So we will use for this example 7960. And this is with button. First, let me tell you what the button one colon one, a single e phone directory number is associated with a single e phone button. Counts as one line. Buttons one, one, two, three, four, five e-phone directory numbers are overlaid on a single e-phone button counts as one line so now for e-phone one button one colon one enter and for e-phone two uh, type seven nine six zero button uh, one colon two and e-phone number three the same type of 7960 and here button 1 column 3 and here in our example we have two VLANs VLAN 10 for data on the PCs and VLAN 20 for voice for the IP phones I will be working on the switch now and configure the VLANs and the ports so on the switch enable configure terminal first let me give this guy a name host name of sw1 now i will be creating these vlans vlan 10 for data vlan 20 for voice and 30 for management and 99 which will be our native vlan for vlan 10 i will name this data and vlan 20 this is voice and vlan 30 and i'll name this management and VLAN 99, which is our native VLAN. Now, I will configure the port here, which is connected to router 1 as trunk. This port on the switch F01 as uh, trunk native VLAN 99. So, back on the switch from the global configuration mode, interface of F01, switch port, the mode of trunk, switch port, trunk, or native VLAN 99, and then hit enter. I'll exit from here. Now, I will configure the ports connected to the IP, the iPhones, which we have the PCs connected to them to transfer data. Now, I will do these three ports, F08, F016, and F024 altogether in a range command I interface range F08 and F016 comma and F025 24 now switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 this is for data and switch port voice VLAN 20 and this is for voice and then hit enter now what is data vlan a data vlan is a vlan that is configured to carry only user generated traffic a vlan could carry voice based traffic or traffic used to manage the switch but this traffic would not be part of data vlan it's common practice to separate voice and management traffic from data traffic. now what does switch port voice vlan do the voice VLAN feature enables access ports to carry IP voice traffic from an IP phone. When the switch is connected to a Cisco 7960 IP phone, the phone sends voice traffic with layer 3 IP a precedence and layer 2 class of service COS values, which are both set to 5 by default. Now, let's have a look at what we did so far. Here on the switch, I will run this show command, show VLAN brief. And as, as you can see here, we have uh, VLAN 1 by default here, VLAN 10 for data, 20 voice, 30 for management, and 99 our native VLAN. And now on the router, I will run more show commands here exit another exit also from um, I will use this command show I interface a brief and as you can see here for the sub interfaces and for the fast Ethernet 01 connected to the server and I will run this command show IP DHCP binding 
to see what we did so far. And as you can see here for the IP addresses, for the villa, for the IP addresses of uh, 172, 16, 10, 11, and 10, 12, and 10, 13. These are for uh, PCs and the other IP addresses for the phones. So let's see what we did here on the PCs for from the desktop tab on the IP configuration, we notice that it received this IP address, the same with PCB, and the same here with PCC. Now I will ping from PCA to PCB here to see if we have connection. Ping. 172, the 16, the 10, the 12, and we received the reply. Let me see from PCB if we can reach uh, the server, but this time I will use the web browser. Enter here the IP address of 8.8.8.8, .8 and sure enough, we have a connection. Everything is working beautifully. So now let's see if we can uh, dial from IP phone 1 to uh, IP point two. As you notice here, maybe this is a glitch on packet tracer is still not receiving the IP address and still configuring it. And as you can see here, it's blinking. So I have a way around this with this command from the global configuration mode from the telephony service. Simply enter this command assign uh, auto. Let me. Auto, sign, one, two, three, and then hit enter. As you can see here now, it started to register, which is it just simply a glitch on with packet tracer. But if you are using a different uh, software to run these kind of labs, just uh, follow the steps I did uh, during this uh, lab. Now let's see here if we still have, now as you can see here, it's showing in a small font that it received this phone number. And let me go to PC2, uh, IP phone 2, sorry. And uh, this is with uh, number 1002. So I'll try to dial it from here. 1002. And as you can hear or see the light here is blinking, which is received the phone call. Simply just click on the receiver. And now we are connected as you can see here. And you can do the same between IP phone three. Go to the GUI tab here. And here, as you can see, it received this phone number. So I'll try to call from here to IP phone one. I'll put the receiver back and dial the number 11001 and then click on the receiver, the phone receiver. As you can see here, it is a blinking, which means that it is uh, everything is working nice. Click on the receiver and here now you are connected. So now there are some show commands you really need to like here on the router. I will and this command show iPhone as you can see here notice the following the MAC address and the IP address for iPhone 3 or any of the iPhones here as you can see it's telling you everything you need to know just take your time study this after you run this command and also the phone number also, uh, just to study the results, just run this command, as I said, when you are done, when you reach this point and everything is connected, go to the router and run this command, show ePhone, and read the results here. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Please, if you have any questions, anything you did not understand, please uh, contact me via a message or... Uh, Send me a comment on uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Have a nice day.